friends. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. We're halfway to the weekend. Welcome to my live. And if you happen to be watching later, welcome so much to the replay. I'm glad that you were able to join me. Uh, once you hop on, say hi in the comments. Tell me where you're watching from. Also, just real quick, want to let you know that I'm using an online platform called StreamYard. So I'm live in three locations this evening. So if you hear me refer to a comment that you don't see in your comment feed, that person may be viewing and watching from a different platform. Also, if you're watching from my private Facebook group, there is a StreamYard permission link in the description of the video. If you wouldn't mind giving that a quick click, that way StreamYard can pin your profile name and pick to your comment. You can choose not to click the link, but then you show up as Facebook user in my comments, and I do not know who to say hi to. Speaking of saying hi, Jason says, happy hump day, bring on the weekend, and hello from the other side of the door. <clears throat> so again, once you hop on the live or the replay, say hi in the comments. If at any time during the project this evening or during the replay, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that heart button. Or if you're on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button. And as always, spread the chalk love around Facebook and YouTube. Um, invite your, tag your crafty friends and always invite them to watch along with you. So with that, let's flip the camera and I will show you what we are working on. Sorry, I had to get a little drink. Got the tickle. So this is the, oh. This is the um, Chalk Couture or the Club Club Couture transfer for the month. It's called Welcome-ish. And then it also has a tagline. It depends on who you are and how long you stay. So this is the transfer of the month. And it comes with three paste singles this month. They are Guava, Storm, and Pesto. So this comes as a DIY monthly subscription kit to your mailbox every month. For $21.99 US or $27.99 Canadian. <coughs> the only way to get this transfer is to either be a designer or a Club Couture member. And um, along with your DIY monthly subscription kit, you also get a free flat rate shipping on all Chuck site orders. And then you also get specials and promos um, issued by Chuck Couture. And I will talk about those later. But for right now, we're going to use this transfer. So this is a silk screen reusable transfer. It is reusable about 8 to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of it. So because it's reusable, and because I want to make sure that it gets put back on the backer sheet correctly, I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to write the name of the transfer on the back. Um, and I'm just going to put CC and then February 23. You don't need to do that. I'm just doing it. You might also notice <coughs> if you are familiar with Chalk Tour transfers, that it's a different color. Um, we have a, we have a new manufacturer in our back pocket. That way, if, um, things happen, like I'm just going to. Sorry, I forgot to do that. Things like COVID or another pandemic comes along. Chalk Couture just has another manufacturer in their back pocket that they can go to. But you will notice that they are a different color. They're also a different material. They're a lot thinner. They're also very see-through. Um, and one couple things to note, this um, uh, information um, they call it a slug line, I think. It is also a silk screen mesh. So you want to make sure you put some tape over that, or you could even cut that little portion off. Although, if you cut it off, I would put the little portion on the back side. But just keep in mind this little portion of the transfer that has the transfer name and the copyright date um, that is also a mesh silk screen. So if you put ink or paste through on it, it will go through to your surface. Also, you might notice there's a difference in the backer sheet. This one is fairly matte. It doesn't have a whole lot of shine to it. And it, typically this side is the shiny side. Um, you can see it has 
right there it has quite a bit more shine well with this new manufacturer the back sides are also shiny so you really need to make sure you put the name of the transfer or just the word back on this back side sorry long story for a short explanation but <coughs> and when you get transfers from this manufacturer they will your packaging will come with a big black sticker that just reminds you that this slug line is a mesh silk screen you'll also notice that this transfer has some suggested cut lines you're welcome to cut your transfer apart any way that you prefer you can follow the lines not follow the lines but i like to keep my backer sheet intact so i'm going to score down that line so i'm going to score my transfer apart but keep my backer sheet in one piece just my preference based on how I store them. You do you. Okay. So the so we're going to use this transfer and I'm going to use this oval canvas. I've had it in my stash for a while. Um, it does have a tiny rip in it, but we're not going to use it the way that it's intended. Uh, Again, I will preface this by saying I probably should have done this ahead of time. But it wouldn't be my channel without a very long video. So here we go. We're going to make kind of a play on a reverse canvas. So I'm actually going to cut this canvas away from the frame so that we can expose the frame that's underneath it. And I'm just going to cut with a straight edge around both sides of the staples. You can remove your staples if you want, but I ain't got time for that. So I'm just cutting around both sides of the, the staples. You can do this with any size canvas. I love to make reverse canvas signs. Okay. This may not have worked. This one's a little different because it has a lot of staples. should have done this ahead of time my apologies that you're gonna have to watch me do this but I may not have cut deep enough let's get some assistance here Dang, this one's finicky. There. I'm going to tear along this inside edge first, get some of this riffraff gone, and then we'll work on that outside. Just want to make sure you get through the, I don't think I got deep enough to go through the canvas. tears away okay we're getting there with this being so bunched up there's a lot of layers to get through
Okay, we're getting there. We're almost done. of the canvases are wooden. This one happens, I believe this is this MDF, which is fine, but a lot of the canvases have really pretty frame, wooden frames inside. Just trying to get rid of this excess, although we don't really have to worry about that. Okay, so let's Almost want to leave it that color, but I think I think what I'm going to do is grab a couple of wipes and we'll just do some faux stain real quick. <clears throat> um, I want to get so. I'm going to use just some cheap acrylic paint. You could very easily use chalk paste, um, but I'm going to do this part really quick. Probably should put on some gloves. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take just some regular baby wipes and I'm just going to, this may not be the prettiest color. And then it's soaking right there. Yeah. Um, actually, it's mainly just soaking up. That wasn't a good idea with being MDF because it's just soaking in the water. So we'll punt and we'll go to paint. real quick. Probably should have picked a gray color. Since I'm using, eh, this will be fine. So how's everyone's week been? Anybody have any big plans coming up for the weekend? I'm just getting the edges here real quick. And technically, who that just sucks that paint up. Technically, I really only have to paint half of it, but it's going to take a lot more paint. It's just sucking it in, soaking it up. Jason says, long week, looking forward to a quiet we can end the Super Bowl. Tell me in the comments. Give me either um, some red and yellow hearts in the comments or some green and black comments or hearts in the comments. Tell me who you're rooting for for the Super Bowl. Are you rooting for the red and yellow Chiefs or the black and green Eagles? We are rooting for the black and green Eagles. Even though we live in Kansas, we do root for the Chiefs unless they're playing the Eagles. I 
keep forgetting the Super Bowls this weekend. I don't know what, how, because that's all I see on Facebook. I think every crafter I know is selling chief stuff. little dirty here so I'm just painting this with cheap acrylic paint this is the inside frame of a canvas that I just struggled with ripping apart right over here to dry get this off my hands so I don't get it all over everything I don't necessarily mind having dirty fingers but it usually ends up getting everywhere okay get my so I'm just going to, because I may need to do some little touch-ups. Um, I don't want that to dry out. I'm just going to put it over this little wipe over it and set it over here. Okay, so let's bring in our canvas. So this is the canvas that we ripped off of the um, frame. And I'm going to I just want to make a few snips in this outer edge so I can lay it. It'll kind of help me lay it flat a little better. See how it kind of helps it to lay flat. In fact, you know what? Let's do it even better. Let's just cut that whole thing off. So I'm just kind of following the crease, not carefully. all trash. Hello, Miss Bonita. How are you? So we're putting in the comments, if you're just now hopping on, are you, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? I want either a, a set of red and yellow hearts, if you're rooting for the Chiefs, or a set of black and green hearts, if you're rooting for, who are you rooting for in the Super Bowl? Okay, so I know I was trying to um, measure how much of a banner I need to make. I'm not going to use these little brackets, so I'm just going to use the welcome-ish, and then depends on who you are. Miss Bonita is rooting for the Chiefs, so that's about three, and then that. So I need a, at least five for a buffer. So. I'm trying to figure out in my head how I want to do this. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a strip from this um, canvas piece. So I'm just trying to figure out in my head how I want to do it. 
I have to use math. Um, so let's just guesstimate here. I'm just going to get a pencil. Oh, Benita says, sorry, Jason. Jason says, no worries. Should be a great game. No matter who wins, I can tell you a Kelsey is going to win. So I'm just going to put a couple little marks here. And then I'm going to try to get it as straight as I can. So I'm kind of using my glass mat. That's to kind of help me line things up. Maybe. It's kind of hard to see. Does that look straight? We'll just make one line for now. It works out in my head. We'll see. Let's not use that. Okay, so then let's. about five and an eighth. <clears throat> okay, so try it this way. Anita says it should be a great game as well. I'm excited for the Super Bowl because that means the NASCAR season is right behind it. Okay, so I think this will, will, will work. I'm just going to clean up these edges a little bit. Kind of cut a little more around those crease, that crease mark. to do I'm going to do a little bit of trimming. Ugh. Okay, so but I oh man. I was afraid of that. The nice thing about canvases is that they're treated they're kind of primed a little bit, so so this part's, it's forgot it's backwards. But you, just trying to decide if I should use the, I'm going to end up doing that again. Um, so let's do it. I should have measured this out ahead of time. <clears throat> trying to do this without getting paint all over everything. So I'm just eyeballing this. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I just want to kind of give myself a a visual. So I'm just making some pencil lines inside. Okay, so I kind of know where I need to 
where my outside edges are. Sorry, it's kind of convoluted, but um, so to help, I'm going to put a little bit of tape. So I need to stay with it in this mark, roughly, and that mark, roughly. So now let's bring in our transfer. After all that, we're finally ready for our transfer. Um, because this is kind of a fabric-like material, I'm not going to fuzz. And this is about only the second time I've used this, the new trans, the different transfer manufacturer. So I'm just going to see kind of what happens. So I'm just finding the middle. So I'm lining up both edges of the welcome-ish word. And I put a little pinch in the middle. Actually, I might leave the top bracket. Just because I kind of like the way that looks. And I need to remember, since this is the different manufacturer, it's the lighter colored transfers that this slug line where it says the name of the transfer, the little slug line right here, that is a mesh. So I'm going to cover it up because I don't want to paste over that information. I don't want that information on my wreath. Okay, so let's I was um I'm gonna bring since that keeps sticking to my glass mat, I'm bringing it in. I'm gonna put it on its backer sheet. So I'm thinking I wanna do mostly storm. But I also thought about black, but I'm going to try to stick to some pastels, which is really out of my wheelhouse. But I, so I'm, I think black may be a bit harsh. So I was going to go with like these kind of colors. So do you think I should just stick with Storm? Or I thought about, I thought about doing the welcome-ish in black. And then I could do depends on who you are and how long you stay in gray. That way it's kind of subtle. Or I could do the whole thing in gray. Then I thought, where the heck am I going to put my... I kind of forgot about the flowers. What do you all think? I think because my yarn's going to also be gray. I think I might stick with just storm. But you could, so I picked out eucalyptus, uh, peachy keen, and ocean mist. There's also sage that would look good. Um, this was an old color sunset dune. And then sunny side. There's all sorts of really pretty kind of boho type colors you could use. In fact, I'm thinking I might switch out. Yep, I think I'll go with that. Okay, so let's, and hopefully I have room to fit these flowers. So I have Storm here. And I'm going to get a small squeegee. And I'm just going to burnish where my silk screen area is. I could do the little bracket. Actually, you know what? I'm going to skip the bracket because that might give me a place to do my florals. So I'm going to cover up the bracket with some tape. Okay, so I'm just grabbing using my small squeegee and I'm going to pick up some paste. And I'm just literally going to cover up where 
the silk screen mesh is. These new transfers are so smooth. Some of our older transfers were had some kind of a texture to them. These are just silky smooth. So I'm just putting the excess back in my jar. And then I'm going to come and pick up the excess off of the silk screen. I'm going to kind of even up some of my silk screen or some of my squeegee lines. My words are. Anita says maybe leave off the little bracket so you have room for the flowers. Great minds think alike. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So I'm going to pull it off slowly. I missed a spot right there. Let's just open that back up in case I missed another spot. I missed the G and the Y down here, which means I probably missed that Y. Oops. Okay. So I'm just going to lay this transfer down here on. I have a little table and I'm just going to spray it with some water to keep that paste wet until I have time to clean it under running water. Let's give this a dry. See, that's why I like, <laughs> that's why I have to wipe my hands. So we'll close that up. Maybe. Goodness gracious. Okay. So let's bring the transfers right in front of me. <laughs> let's bring our flowers in. I wish they would have made those go a different direction. like opposite directions. So I think I'm just going to put one right here and I'm just going to gently burnish so then can open our eucalyptus. Our dusty sunset dune and our ocean mist. I don't use ocean mist very often. I never remember the color. Um, let's get couple of these little skinny ones. So I'm going to do my leaves in eucalyptus. 
So I'm just going to get a little bit to start with. So I'm going to even all that out. And then hopefully quickly come into Sunset Dune. And do the flower. And then get a little bit of ocean mist for this little flower down here. Very pretty. opposite. Um, but let's, let's get a little bit outside our comfort zone. Let's turn this one upside down. Crush fingers. I've seen it done. I have never done it. But we're going to do it. It may be an epic fail. Just making sure that's where I want it. Try to get it as flat as possible. Oops. Okay. So let's go. <laughs> Jason's got his fingers crossed. So I'm going to. We're going to go with um, the Sunset Dune. I'm not breathing, by the way. And then we'll come in with our eucalyptus. So far, so good, but we'll see what happens when I peel it up. Okay. I'm trying to figure out where to start. Kind of worked. My uh, blue flower bled just a little bit, but I can fix it. I'm not worried about that. For the most part, it worked. Uh, 
Okay, let's get a little Q-tip. Preferably just one. We'll get one that's pointy. I'm going to dip it in the water. Except I'm going to dry it first. So it pretty much worked. Not as crisp as the other one. Oops. But it worked. Sorry about that. I don't know when the camera switched. I must have bumped my mouse. Sorry if you missed all that. Okay, I don't know where. So I'm just going to take my Q-tip. Just kind of gently wipe away some of that excess. That's done. Okay, the next thing I probably need to, that needs, almost needs another coat. But it's gonna look pretty. Um, I think the next thing I want, I really need to get that frame dry. So let's clean that some of this up. Let's put this all over here. I still need my chalk paste colors, but um, I will use those. This is going to be a long project. I apologize. I could always make it. I could always make it a part two. But I need to get the frame painted. So repainted um i don't necessarily love this color I'm trying to think what other color i could paint it i don't necessarily love this brown just trying to think what i have close to me We'll go with it. It's already half done. No point. In. Okay, so let's bring our paintbrush back out. I just need to at least get an, another coat, at least on this top side. Normally, canvases have that wood interior frame. This one is bring the blue in from my well that's not a bad idea but i think i'll just stick with this brown kind of ode to grapevine wreath color i thought about doing the storm color but i already have i've got gray yarn so i think this will work it's not not my favorite color but This MDF just sucks up the paint and then it's really splotchy where I didn't get a lot of paint. Dry brush it. Yeah, I could add another color on top of it 
to dry brush and just dress it a little bit. I could do that maybe with like some white. We may just, well, we'll see. I just don't want this to be a super long video, but if I go back in and distress it, then Okay, let's try that for right now. So we'll put that this to the side again. And then let's bring in, I'm going to add yarn around the bottom of the frame like I've done for some of my um, wall hangings, you know, kind of the faux macrame. But I want to add some beads not only to the hanger, but I want to add some beads to um, the little yarn dangles. I don't know what you call them. The yarn fringe. Maybe we'll call it fringe. So I think I'm going to paint four of each bead. So maybe we'll, after I paint the beads we'll we'll maybe stop and I'll do part two on Saturday either Friday or Saturday so when I paint beads this is usually how I do it I use these little skewers and I have um, usually these egg cartons See if I have three paintbrushes handy. Oh gosh, I got plenty. Okay, we'll use one of those, one of those four, or three of those four. So open my lids again and let's just start with one so I'm just going to spray a little bit of distilled water in the lid of my jar I'm going to pick up a paintbrush and I'm going to pick up some of that water and I'm going to go into my jar and get some paint Let's just start with this one. And so then I like to trap my beads against the edge of this egg carton. That way I can kind of control where they go. I can kind of spin it around. And then I can trap them against each other. them around fast and I I like to have Pretty full coverage on my beads. I like kind of that matte painted finish. Let's move them out. And then to do this last one, I just flip it around and I trap it against the other side.
Okay, so that color's done. Put that down there. And since I used distilled water, I can just plop that right back into my jar and it won't hurt my paste at all. So then let's go to, and then as these are drying, you can just kind of spread them out a little bit. Let's go to the eucalyptus, do the same thing. Might not add as much water. Oops, that's the wrong lid, you goofball. I wonder why that looked so blue. Just in case. So I'm just watering that down a little bit. So let's paint these. Okay, so uh, if any of you have seen the new pro color of the month promo, I need to let you guys know you knocked it out of the park. And in eight days, Chaka Tour sold out of the February Dream Car color. So just a fair warning for March, if you want that color, um, you need to act quick and lock it in with a $75 order. You unlock the ability to purchase it after a $75 order. Also, the Robin's Egg blue color has sold out. I'm assuming that they'll restock, but I'm not for sure. But I know the, February, the color of the month, they will not restock. Um, and some of the other Invoke colors um, are in low quantity. And then one of the Cottontail, the 12 by 18 Cottontail transfer is in low quantity. And the Chalk Made Hop To It Beaded Garland Kit is in low quantity. And I do not know if those are being restocked. I have... If not heard. I would hope since it's still two months till Easter, but okay, so then let's trap that last one in. So for those of you that squeaked in and got a dream car in your orders, congratulations and thank you. Um, everyone else, you'll just have to wait. So, sorry, but you'll have to wait until March. Okay, so there's the eucalyptus color. Um, Robin Van Atta. Okay, let's get out our ocean mist. Just use what's in the lid. And then we'll do this last set of beads. And then I will come back live on either Friday or Saturday, I promise. And we will finish up our wall hanging. Because um, by the time I'm done with this, it'll have been an hour. I just need to start pre-prepping so my videos aren't so long. But... I don't always make time for that. Okay.
Okay, last bead. Hello, Miss Ashley. How are you doing? Long time no see. So we are just finishing up. I'm not finished with the project. I'll have to um, finish it up on my next live, but I will do a quick recap before I hop off. I'm just painting some beads. And we'll finish this up this weekend. beads okay so I'm gonna let those dry so let's do a quick recap you just got home you've had a late day okay so here are our beads that's what they look like after they've been painted so I'll just let them dry so we'll add those in with some of these natural beads um, let me pull in our frame. Do I clean off my fingers? Otherwise, it will get everywhere because I've already had a few little mishaps. Okay, so we had this. Um, this was a an oval um, canvas, stretched canvas, but I took it apart. So you can see all my staples on the back. I took it apart, painted the frame, and we cut down the canvas. And I used the Club Couture Transfer, the welcome-ish, depends on who you are and how long you stay. And I used the little florals. And I even got out of my comfort zone and I actually flipped the transfer over um, so that the florals were opposite. And so then eventually I will reattach this to the back like that. Let's move the, the paper towels not helping. So it'll kind of look like that minus the floral tape. And then we will add some yarn fringe at the bottom with some of our beads. And I hope it'll look really cute. I'm going to have to put that up there like that. So yeah, that's what it's going to look like. But I will finish it. Uh, Ashley said she had a late day today. And somebody says they love it. Thank you. So I'm um, also, I think, once the frame dries, Bonita gave me a... I'm not a big fan of this color of frame. It's a... Well, it, I think it needs some dimension. I used the dark chocolate um, acrylic paint. But I think I may add some white paint to kind of distress it a little bit. We'll see. Um, and then I will either go live on Friday or Saturday and we will finish it up because I've already been on for an hour. I don't want to waste any more of your time. And I have some Animal Crossing to play. So, oh, it's Amanda. Hello, Miss Amanda. Uh, Ashley says she it looks like it'll be really cute. So, yeah. If you want to get your hands on this transfer, I'll show it to you again. It is the Club Couture transfer for the month, and it does come with three paste single packets. If you're wanting to try Chalk Couture and you don't want to get um, make a whole lot of investment in product that you have to store, um, then Club, Club Couture is a great way to do that. It's $21.99 per month. There is a three-month minimum commitment to sign up, but you can cancel it any time after that. Also, as a club member, again, you do get flat rate shipping on all of your chalk orders and you do get um, special promotions and deals. Um, one of those, oh, and new Club Couture customers this month. So if, if you're wanting to try Chalk Couture products without a whole lot of investment, this would be the perfect month because any new Club Couture member in February receives five free transfers um, after you sign up. So you get the lemonade stand, the keep growing, home sweet home, um, very sweet, and 
live in the sunshine. So it, this is a great opportunity to um, join Club Couture. If you have any questions, um, holler at me and I can um, answer any of those questions for you. I was referring to Club Couture promos. Um, one of those promos is <clears throat> Blast from the Past. And <coughs> um, Chuck Couture did some inventory and came up with a bunch of excess transfers that they didn't know that they had. So they are offering those at 20% off retail price for customers, <coughs> excuse me, and 40% off retail price for Club Couture members. So those are listed in the specials of my website. So if you go to chuckcouture.com backslash Robin's Egg Blue Creations, um, I think I might be able to put that up there. Let's see. Oh, nope. Oh, yep. Well, here's some information. But that is my uh, website. Actually, right here. There you go. Um, you can um, check those under specials. So let's just go back to me. Okay, no, let's take that off. Um, I think that's about it. Um, so yeah, I will finish. We'll finish this project up um, this weekend. Just be checking my Facebook page for the event notice. Um, thanks so much for hopping on tonight. Uh, I, owe, I sure appreciate your um, support. If you wouldn't mind spreading the chalk love around Facebook and YouTube, that would be great. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your evening and a great rest of your week and happy almost weekend. But thanks for watching.